Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to Aussie Fish Keeping. So in today's video, we're gonna be talking about why algae is actually one of my favorite aquarium plants that you can get for your fish tank. So obviously, if you have an aquarium, you're gonna know what algae is. Basically, it's just like a little aquarium plant that you get in your aquarium from algae spores. And these spores can come in in fish water if you like buy fish from an aquarium store and the water's got spores in it. They can come on plants and they can even come in fish waste as well. So if you do have an aquarium, you're pretty much guaranteed to get algae at some point in its life cycle. So I really do think that algae is overhated for no reason. There's actually a whole lot of benefits that it does bring to your aquarium. And I really do think it does more good than bad when it comes to water quality, fish health, and like just overall aquarium health. So in today's video, I'm just gonna be going over some of the benefits that algae has and why it's actually one of my favorite aquarium plants. So before we get into today's video, I will just quickly say algae isn't technically a plant, but I'm just gonna call it a plant throughout the video just to make it a lot easier. But without any further ado, let's just jump straight into today's video. So as you can see behind me, I have a lot of algae in all of my aquariums and that's just because I do think it's super beneficial. So in this tank here, I've just got some endlers, some CPDs and some cherry shrimp and I have this massive ball of algae in the middle. Now, originally I did actually think this was hair algae but it does turn out to be green thread algae, I think it's called. So there is heaps of different types of algae you can get in your aquarium. You can obviously get hair algae, green thread algae, like the one behind me here. You can get green spot algae, diatom algae, blue green algae, black beard algae, staghorn algae. There is literally so many different types of algae out there. So literally all you're gonna need to get some algae in your aquarium is obviously some spores. You're gonna want plenty of light and you're gonna want plenty of nutrients. And as long as you have those three things, algae should just grow absolutely tremendously in your water. And as long as you're maintaining it, there's really no reason it should overtake your aquarium. So as for maintaining it, it obviously does depend on what sort of algae you have. As for the green thread algae here behind me, I basically just treat it like java moss. So when it gets it's too overgrown, I literally just go in there and pick little bits off it. I have tried using scissors to cut it before, but that really doesn't work. I don't know why. It's just like really like durable, I guess. As long as you're maintaining your algae, like I said, there's really no reason for it to outbreak in your aquarium and just become like this big mess. So that's obviously the first thing I love about algae. It's super easy to get, super easy to care for, and super hardy. So as for the second benefit we're gonna be talking about today, it's one that I find really helps in my fish room in particular. And that's basically just that algae is super beneficial to have in a guppy tank or just any tropical fish aquarium, just because it does provide all sorts of refuges and hiding spaces for baby fish, small tropical fish, or even cherry shrimp. So back to this tank over here, I'll pop up some videos right now, but basically you can see I have hundreds of fry in there and they all just dart in and out of the algae. So I find in particular, it's great for things like cherry shrimp and guppies and all sorts of live bearers, just because your cherry shrimp can go in there to hide. Obviously they are like a prey item. So if you have larger fish in there, they can eat both them and their babies. And then as for the live bearers, it gives their fry somewhere to hide away from the parents. And if you have a really big, clump of it like in this aquarium here, you will find it actually does really help. And because of it in this aquarium, I'm able to keep all of my endless together. I don't need to take out the fry and I've got a pretty good colony of assorted endless. But yeah, providing hiding spaces for all your fish is another extremely awesome benefit from having algae in your aquarium. So another great benefit that you get from having algae in your aquarium is that it actually indicates whether or not your aquarium is healthy. So having nice, super green, flourishing algae like this green thread algae behind me is a super good sign to have in your aquarium just because it does prove that there's plenty of light in your aquarium and there's also plenty of nutrients. So a lot of the times when you are starting up like a new aquarium and you wanna leave it just before you get your fish, once you start noticing algae growing, it generally means that your water is perfectly healthy for fish and new plants. And if you have an aquarium with no plants and you've got plenty of algae in there, it also indicates that it's ready for plants and that plants would thrive in that water just because algae literally needs the exact same things that plants do. So yeah, algae is also super beneficial at indicating whether or not your aquarium is healthy. So as for the next benefit, this one's, I think, a little bit obvious, but 
Algae is basically a free food source for a variety of different fish species in the hobby. So obviously the most common algae eater is bristlenose and bristlenose literally need algae to thrive in your tank. So having plenty of algae in your aquarium gives them a food source to just graze upon all day long. And not only that, but there's obviously hundreds of different algae eating fish out there. So even cherry shrimp like these like these ones behind me, I guess, they also eat algae pretty consistently. And things like Otto Sinklers, Borneo suckers, all sorts of sucky mouth catfish like that all eat algae as well. And it's actually like vital for them to eat algae. So not only do fish species like the bristlenose literally just eat the algae straight off your glass, but having a big ball of algae like this thread algae or even green water helps cultivate all sorts of infusoria cultures. And those little infusoria can feed all sorts of tiny fry that may be in your aquarium, or you can harvest that green water and feed it to other fry. So I've got a few Bosemani rainbows and when they were first like hatched, they were absolutely tiny. Like I literally think my eyelash is bigger. So I literally just fed those guys green water for a few days until they were big enough to eat some baby brine shrimp. So yeah, algae is definitely beneficial as a food source in your aquarium as well. So moving on to the next benefit of algae on our list, it's literally that algae is basically like a free filter. So obviously all aquatic plants, including algae, use up excess nutrients and CO2 in your water to photosynthesize and grow. So algae will actually use up like fish waste, excess food and all that as a part of its photosynthesis, and that will help minimize the amount of nitrates you get in your aquarium. And that's why you'll actually see these algae outbreaks in your aquarium, not only because you have your light on for so long, but also because there's so much extra nutrients in your water, particularly if you have like plastic plants or no plants in your water and you just have fish. So yeah, another benefit of algae is that it's literally a free filter for your aquarium. So as for the next benefit, it's literally that algae like produces oxygen, which is obviously super beneficial for your fish. So obviously, like I was talking about before, algae does photosynthesize. So it uses up CO2, light and excess nutrients to photosynthesize. And as a byproduct, it obviously produces oxygen. And a lot of the time, if you sit, if you have a bunch of algae like this and you sit there for long enough, you will actually notice it purling. And what that is, is basically little like bubbles, I guess, just forming on their leaves. I don't really know what what that is, like the strands of algae. And then those bubbles will just float to the top of your aquarium. And in those bubbles is obviously oxygen. So obviously oxygen is super beneficial for your fish just because they like literally need it to live. But it also means that you don't need to aerate your water as much. You will probably still need to aerate your water, but it definitely does help. So yeah, that's definitely another great benefit of having algae in your aquarium. And as for the final benefit, Actually, I wouldn't really call this a benefit, but it's definitely one of the reasons I love algae so much. And that's basically just that it's super easy to get rid of if you don't want it in your aquarium anymore. So the thread algae, I could literally just pull that out if I wanted. And all the surface algae, you can just scrape that off. And I quite often do. I come in and scrape off the surfaces of the aquariums. I've actually made a whole video on how you can destroy algae in your aquarium. And I'll leave that linked. But basically, you can obviously get algae eating fish. I've got so many videos on different types of algae eating fish. So I'll leave those linked as well. You can also put in aquarium plants and what those plants will do is they'll use up the extra nutrients and CO2 and they'll actually just basically starve the algae. And finally, you can also increase the oxygenation of your water and that's just going to basically rid the water of any CO2, which will once again not be good for your algae. So yeah, if you do want to try out having an aquarium with just algae and you don't decide you want it anymore, you can quite easily get rid of it. So I'm sure there's hundreds of other benefits of algae that I've missed, but if I said them all, this video would go on forever. So basically now I'm just going to talk about a few of the downsides because I mean, there is definitely a few downsides of having algae. The first one is that it can just like overtake your aquarium if you don't look after it properly. So. Obviously, I look after all my aquariums and the algae isn't taken over. But yeah, it can easily take over your aquarium. And that's obviously, I mean, pretty ugly. No one really wants an aquarium full of algae. And also by taking over your aquarium, it can like clog power heads. It can clog filters and it can smother your aquarium plants if you have any in there. 
But with that being said, as long as you stay on top of it, maintain it well, and make sure no outbreaks occur, it's super easy to care for and it's super beneficial to have in your aquarium. So yeah, that is gonna bring us to the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed and I hope I convinced you guys to get some more algae in your aquarium. If you did enjoy today's video and you haven't done so already, please make sure to go down and subscribe. And while you're down there, smash the like button and comment your thoughts on today's video. I always love going down there and reading them all and I reply back to as many as I can. Also, if you are interested in any fish, aquarium products or botanicals, make sure to check out my website. I'll leave that link below. But yeah, I hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you all in that next one.